This is what I found at the thrift stores today and you're probably thinking, why did he buy all these soaps? Well, this soap brand is called Loila and it's a dermatologic soap that has been recommended by doctors for a long time now to patients with sensitive skin. But the problem is, this product has been discontinued for decades now as the company went out of business. Uh, so, since it's not available in stores anymore, the only way you can get a hold of these soaps, uh, it's on a specialized marketplace like eBay, for example. So, uh, if we look a little bit at uh, what's available on eBay, we can see now that uh, the only soaps that are there, the only Loila soaps that are there, there's one advertised for $225 for just one bar of soap, and uh, the other so the other similar soaps. Uh, that are for sale on eBay are uh, in that same order of prices. If you look on Amazon, they're completely out of the product. Um, and uh, so let's just look at the completed listings. Uh, now there isn't much information uh, because you know, you've got to be careful uh, just because something is advertised for $200 on eBay doesn't mean it's going to sell for that price. But uh, if we look at, uh, if we do some research with Terapeak, we realize that uh, here is this example. Uh, some soaps uh, sold for like $150 a bar. Then you got uh, in another example uh, two soaps you sold for over two hundred dollars, and uh, that's the U.S. dollars. So as you can see, uh, these uh, this product sells for anywhere around a hundred dollars a bar, uh, and it's uh, there's an explanation for that. It's the rarity, uh, and uh, as the years go by. There's less and less uh, uh, of these soaps available since uh, the company is, uh, has been out of business for a long time now. So this is just an example uh, of uh, some of the stuff that you should look out for when you're at the thrifts. Uh, just because you, it's not something that, that you're looking for or that's something that you know about, you should always have an open mind uh, because there are there are rare, rare items in every category. Uh, and if you look at eBay, there are like thousands of categories, tens of thousands of different categories with uh, very uh, valuable items in each of them. So you need to have an open mind and uh, be ready to learn every day. Uh, you're gonna see stuff that you don't know about, but it doesn't mean because you don't know about it that it's not uh, valuable to other people. As I always say, keep an open mind and um, always do more research. The more you know, the more money you'll make. So this is Rob from iTech Pickers and I will see you in the next video.